Unit 79 Colson Street, water leak main bedroom. There's a what appears to be a structural column there, and the water's leaking in that corner into the main bedroom. A new cavity fashion has been installed historically up to the column, but no waterproof membrane bandage has been put at the wall floor junction. Those tiles have to come up, new waterproof bandage against the concrete column and check the box end of the cavity flashing against the column. We also need to put a colour bond flashing over the top of that parapet wall because I think there's a defective flashing under the parapet wall. We also need to cut in a control joint at the top of the concrete column and cork it and repaint it. This section of wall it's had a new cavity flashing installed, although I don't think they've put waterproof grout underneath the new cavity flashing, or I don't, and I don't think they've put new tiles with a wall, wall floor junction waterproofing bandage. There's big water leaks into the lounge room adjacent to the kitchen in this corner. It all seems to be originating around this concrete column. I think there's a defective waterproofing membrane around this concrete column and missing weep hole drains to the infill brickwork either side of the column with defective end dams, flashings. I also think water's getting in underneath that fixed panel window and the end dam of the cavity flashing has to be checked against the window and the door. I also suspect the waterproofing membranes defective at the wall floor junction but the majority of the water appears to be coming around the column at this stage. Round into the lounge room. Historically, there's been a water leak internally to the sliding door. It looks like there might be a waterproofing turn up bandage issue under the doors because we're under cover here. The cantilevered concrete slab. But there's a lot of water and efflorescence under the tiles. I think we have to pop off the timber architrave beading and flood test this area and check for water leaks, flood test and spray test the subsill flashing.